Hello, this video is designed to help you register for our free trial program as well as uh, install the trial program and do the setup to uh, get you up and running. So let's begin. Uh, you're going to want to open your web browser and then go to www.getcalidus.com and once you select enter you'll get to our home page, the Calidus web page. You're going to select free trial and it'll take you to this screen where you're going to register for uh, the free trial. So you'll just select the next button. Uh, in this screen you'll enter your email address. Tr please try to be accurate. If you're not accurate uh, it won't give you the opportunity to run the 30-day trial. So you want to put in a valid email address uh, and if you put in an email address that you've registered before, it uh, won't work either. So it has to be a, an email address where you haven't registered with us for the free trial. Enter that and then just go through the series of screens. There's two or three or four screens here that will request your company name, phone number, uh, address, that type of information. And once you complete that, uh, the program will send you a, a validation email that'll look just like this. You'll simply click on validate your email address and once you do that it'll send you a second email with a user code. The CAL number is your user code and it'll be valid for 30 days from the day you start uh, running the program and you can also then just click on the link to, to back to our web page which has your individual account on it now you'll see your account uh, your company name or however you listed the account and your user code so then once you have downloaded your user code you'll go to uh, download the program down where it says download Calidus beta release uh, we typically offer two versions of the program an official release and a beta release and our trial users are restricted to the beta release so you'll download that just by clicking on it select save file and let that download uh, complete once the download completes you can simply click on it to run it it'll ask you if you want to allow it to run you'll say yes uh, and just select next and agree to the user agreement and the, the DK3 is a key we distribute when uh, you become a licensed user on the program uh, what what I recommend is go ahead and install the driver for the key even though you won't need it for the 30-day trial that way you'll be set up when you're an official uh, program user so you just select press to install and select next and select finish units of measure you're going to select square yards and you're going to run the C++ part of the install and it's going to ask you to stay online while it completes the installation the next message you get is important. Uh, it's going to say your user code is incorrect and it's not found. So in order to correct that message, you're going to need to copy this number, your user code, so you can left click, drag over it, then right click on top and copy. And then you're going to paste that user code down in the uh, install. So right here we're going to drag over the top of it and paste it and select continue installation. And now you'll get a message that says your user code is good and the install is complete. And you'll get a message that it's updated your module release code, another series of numbers that validates your account. And once you've completed that, uh, the program will open on your screen. 
The next thing you're going to want to do is uh, go through a series of settings so you'll cancel the plan settings that opens when the program opens and go to global settings, the white sheet of paper icon. And you're going to type in your company name in the top header. And you're going to uh, just check the boxes for now that I'm checking to uh, to set it up kind of on a standard setup. And then you can review these later and make sure, well, this is basically set up so that you can adjust it day to day. Whatever information you want to see, you'll be able to uh, either uh, show information, hide information, or emphasize information. For example, I've got uh, display seams and a thicker pen set so that the seams will show up in a bold red line instead of a thin black line. It's that kind of information we're turning on and turning off. Uh, also dimensions I have turned on so that I can verify the scale uh, within a reasonable amount but just by looking at the dimensions in a room. Uh, if I have that turned off uh, a room you know might might be obviously something like a 20 by 20 and it might show up as a thousand feet by thousand feet so it just helps you get an idea that you're in uh, close to the correct scale uh, not not uh, to say that's a good check it, it's a check but not the final way we're going to deal with scale then output units we do recommend you go set it to square yards as opposed to square feet there's an over another override in the program that will push things like VCT to square feet instead of uh, square yards and again, I would suggest you just set this up like this. Also, make sure you do select no digitizer unless you happen to be running a digitizer, in which case you need to contact us to help you get that set up. So you'll say OK to all those settings. And then you're going to go to Drawing Tools and select Full Screen Cursor and only 45 degree corners is what I recommend. And leave the last two boxes checked. And that was in Drawing Tools. And then you're basically set up and ready to go. Uh, the program's uh, completely set up to run for 30 days at no cost. Uh, feel free to contact us. You can contact us at calidushelp at gmail.com or you can call us at 678-685-1160 and Ray or Katie will answer the line to assist you with the program. Thanks very much and we hope uh, you enjoy the program and please contact us if you have any questions.